Welcome to Better Daily Life, where we are moving forward one percent better every single day. Download the app and supercharge your journey at betterdaily.life. Now it's time to ditch facts and get facts with your host and my dad, Alex Van Houten. What is up, Betterment family? This is Alex Van Houten in Better Daily Live. Happy Tuesday. It is Nutrition Tip Tuesday, and today we are talking about brown fat. It is that time of year again where it's important to talk about brown fat. Actually, actually, last year I talked about brown fat at the end of November, but now we're at the beginning of November slash middle of November because at least here in Arkansas, we had ice last night and it was 27 degrees in the garage gym this morning. So, so it is time to talk about cold exposure and brown fat. I'm very excited to help you elevate your metabolism and make you better at regulating glucose. Let's talk. So good morning, Leslie. Good to see you this morning. Now you might not know this, but uh, when we say body fat, it's actually oversimplification of what fat is in the body. Because people generally think of fat as like this this thing on our body that holds on to calories and and then doesn't do anything and we'd really like to get rid of it. Most Most people I've ever worked with in the health and fitness world, their goal is to reduce their body fat, and improve their muscle tissue. It's, I want to lose weight and tone up. <laughs> or I want, to, I want to get more shredded and get stronger is the male version. Anyway, but that's an oversimplification because our fat can, can actually come into different categories. There's subcutaneous fat, which is the fat that's in between the skin and the muscle tissue. So you can pinch it on your body. That's subcutaneous. That means below the skin, cutaneous, sub below cutaneous skin. Then there's visceral fat. That's the stuff that generally hangs out around our organs. So that's, that's fat that hangs out around our organs. And then the types of fat, you can have white fat, which is a different type of fat than brown fat, which is a different type of fat as well. White fat in general, in general, white fat it's called white fat because it looks white. I don't know if you've had a steak marbled or whatever. That's that's white fat. And what that is, is generally it stores energy. Your body can convert um, fats that are eaten in excess or carbohydrates that are eaten in excess in time of plenty and store it for energy to be used later. So it's a hydrocarbon. It's a wonderful source of stored energy. It can release so much energy energy when burned, right? So there's nine calories in one gram of fat. It's a wonderful storage unit, right? So that's white fat. Now, white fat also produces hormones and stuff, which we can talk about later. I had the wonderful opportunity to interview Dr. Tara is her her moniker, but I can't remember her first name. Anyway, she wrote a book called The Secret Life of Fat, where she dives into the metabolic processes of white fat. For instance, it can produce a, a... it's not just storing energy. It can produce a type of estrogen called esterone, and that has certain metabolic effects on the body for both males and females, right? So anyway, that's white fat. But today, I'm talking about brown fat. Brown fat's cool because brown fat's job in your body is to keep you warm. It is a very metabolically active type of fat. In fact, brown fat on a daily basis burns more calories than muscle. I'm going to say that again because it's kind of mind-blowing. On a day-to-day basis, per pound, your brown fat in your body burns more calories than muscle tissue. And brown fat's kind of mysterious because we're not really sure everything it does in the body, but one of the things we we know it definitely does is it keeps you warm. And the reason we know that is because the the most tried-and-true method of stimulating your body to create brown fat, to take white fat that currently exists and is just storing energy and making esterone and whatever else white fat does and and telling your body, look, we got plenty of energy around here. Can you please change this to something productive? (laughs) One of the most tried and true methods of, of doing that is actually cold exposure. If you want your body to take some of the fat on your body that's on the inside, I 
like it's not going to convert your love handles to brown fat okay like brown fat tends to tends to be around our organs around our neck um you know the areas of your body that when they get cold you go ooh that's cold like under your arms or your neck <laughs> brown fat really likes to congregate in these areas of your body that you feel very very cold when they get cold anyway the point is during this time of year a lot of people have a hard time with exercise because it's cold. It's uncomfortable. It's like, ah, I put my gloves on, I put my sweater on, I put my layers on, I just got to get warm. Sometimes you won't even go do it. Sometimes you won't go for the run. Sometimes you won't go lift weights because it's just cold, right? And I want to encourage you that on your 1% better journey, more brown fat on your body would be better. It would be better because brown fat actually has a glucose regulation effect on the body. What that means is it keeps your body from those very large glucose spikes, those very large blood sugar spikes that are really hard on your body in those very deep valleys. Brown fat actually helps to regulate that. It kind of actually reduces the peaks and valleys. And during this time of year, it's kind of interesting that in the holidays, we tend to have more sweets all around us and stuff. And people would say, oh, I have a really hard time saying no to the Christmas cookies or, or whatever. And something as simple as going for a cold walk every day or dressing down just a little bit. I mean, don't give yourself hypothermia, but dressing down just a little bit and walking out into the cold, taking a few deep breaths, so that your body's not hyperactive about it and, and trying to relax through moderate cold exposure can actually stimulate brown fat production. This is really powerful because what it suggests and what I believe is that God made our bodies to handle the cold well and that that can actually be a beneficial thing for us. That can actually make you more healthy over time to give your body some cold exposure it's like a form of exercise. You get better and better at it as you go. But give your body some cold exposure. Let your body have some time to convert white fat to brown fat. That'll help to keep your organs warm. That'll help to keep you warm. That'll raise your metabolism and help you to regulate your weight very well over the holidays. And also, also it'll keep you internally more healthy. It'll regulate your blood sugar. And uh, this is awesome because like if you if you look at the studies, I'll post some below just just so you can check them out and read if you care to read more about this. But brown fat production is good, and in that in that pursuit, there have been a lot of companies who've tried to put out supplements or that sort of thing that that might have the ability to elevate your brown fat. Turns out most of them don't do anything. So, or at least something that we know of in the past seven to seven to ten years that we've been studying this. The, the only tried and true method to elevate your brown fat in your body is cold exposure. And for that reason, you see people doing things like cryotherapy, jumping in freezing cold water, taking cold showers. That's Scott's favorite. <laughs> Good morning, Scott. Good to see you this morning, man. Um, <laughs> that's an inside joke. If you want to know more, ask. <laughs> anyway, that said, you don't really have to do anything crazy. All you have to do is go out in the cold for a while. And if you would normally dress up, you know, you'd put lots of layers on and stuff. If you would normally dress up to go out in the cold and, and to deal with it, I would encourage you, wear, wear less layers when you're doing it on purpose. When you're like, okay, I'm going to go for a walk around the block or I'm going to, you know, do my 20-minute jog for cold exposure. I'm going to build some brown fat. Then don't dress up. Don't put the hood on. Don't don't put three layers on. Don't wait till you start sweating. Go be exposed to the cold, and, and I promise you, you won't die. You might feel like you want to die. I really don't like running in the cold. I'm a big baby about it, but but you won't die. Your body is very well equipped to handle a cold as long as everything's working well. So uh, start small. Do some moderate cold exposure over the next next month or so. Uh, and and build some brown fat. Every time you get that chill, you're like, ooh, it's cold. Or every time you, you go to step outside and you're like, I don't know if I want to work out. It's cold out there. Just remember, I'm building brown fat. I'm building brown fat. I'm building brown fat. And, and that will help because you're elevating your metabolism. You're making yourself better at regulating blood glucose. And you might even be helping your body composition so that you end the holidays in a better state than you started 
which would be really, really cool. Guys, this has been Alex Van Houten in Better Daily Live. Go build some brown fat. Don't be a big baby about it. You can do it. Until next time, it's just 1%. You got this. Thank you for joining us for your 1% better. Be you, just better, in mind, body, and spirit. Go to betterdaily.life. Download our app and check out our five-star coaching resources. We all have a cross to carry. It's lighter when we do it together. Go to betterdaily.life today.